Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Let's Play series. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. You join me here on a Chinese lantern night. So what we're going to do, hang on a minute, there's a couple fireflies dotted around the place. I would very much like to try and get them. Eh, eh, gimme. Yeah, all the bait. Because I think it'd be a cool idea if we made the most of this lucky night, okay? So, guys, we're going to do a spot of fishing to start off today. We're going to try and make the most of the lucky night that we've got going on here. And hopefully, we get some cool stuff going on. So, once again, my friends, I just want to begin by saying a massive thank you for all of the support in the last episode, though. Like, last episode, we reached over 4,000 likes, which is absolutely fantastic, guys. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for that amazing support. It goes a long, long way. So, here we go, guys. Let's begin by putting some chum in there. And then we do this thing. Uh, I don't know to what degree the chum will increase our fishing power. But I guess we'll figure it out. Alright, well, there's a little bit of bass. Wait, is that it? Wait, really? Huh. Doesn't seem like you get much... I don't know. No, it seems to be hanging around a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Still got lots of bass. Okay. I mean, is that all we're going to get today? I think that might be all we get today. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's get some crates or something, dude. That would be freaking awesome. Do I need to put another chum in there? I don't know how long the chum lasts. Because I've never ever used it before. Like, literally, I've never used it before. Uh-huh. I love the tooltip as well. Plankton! <laughs> <laughs> There's a SpongeBob reference, guys. Come on, you gotta know that one, huh? You gotta know that one. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Oh, look at my finch doing all the work. <laughs> Two to four damage each time. Are you freaking kidding me? My god. All right, well, fishing update. We do have ourselves a couple crates going on now, which I guess is kind of cool. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty all right about it. Still got plenty of bait on the go as well. So, yeah, hoping we get some more awesome stuff. Ah, beautiful. Okay, so it's just become daytime, ladies and gentlemen. So I guess we're going to go check on the fishing quest for the day. And also kill these poor suckers. Hey, look at that. We've got ourselves a shackle. Love to see it. All right, well, yeah, we've got ourselves like three crates out of that. But, uh, yeah, we've got some of the junk as well, which is not very appreciated. But, yeah, it's better than nothing, right? I'll tell you what, let's just open these things up. Hey, decent bait, decent bait, and then... Whoa, a whole bunch of gold again. Oh, my gosh. That is very, very nice. <laughs> All right, what you got for me? Sky lakes and surface. Ooh, okay. Well, this could be a slightly more interesting one. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's go back to base. Do we have any uh, graph potions? Gravitation potions? Ooh. Okay. Might it be worth us trying to find a Sky Island? Eh, I've already made the executive decision. We're going to try and find ourselves some Sky Islands, guys. Hey, hey, come on, baby. We need a Sky Lake in particular. That's going to give us the uh, statistically highest chance of getting the things we're looking for, I guess, from fishing. Yeah, that. All right, let's find some islands. Well, howdy doodly do. Here we go, my friends. A sky lake. The first island we come across is a sky lake. Okay, that's decent. That's decent. I don't mind that at all. Now, if we can get a harpy fish, then that'll be the quest done for the day. And then I guess we can use the rest of the day to fish or something. Or explore the sky islands. Yeah, that. Ooh, got to be careful of those guys, though. They do a heck of a lot of damage as far as I can remember. Go on, little finchy. Go on, little finchy. Take him out the get. Oh, God. Oh, God, we're playing the dodging game now. Oh, I hate how much damage these guys do. Get riggedy, riggedy wrecked. There you go. That's one of you. I'm nearly dead. Can I, like, survive, please? That'd be great. I'm going to have to, like, place down a rudimentary house, huh? That might be a good idea. Yeah, eat that, you stupid harpy butt. <laughs> hey, and there's a harpy fish. Love to see it. All right, well, I don't want there to be, like, crummy wood things all over the place, so I'm going to go and uh, chop this back up. And, yeah, let's go hand this bad boy in. And then we'll get back to Sky Island exploring, I guess. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Hey, buddy. Ah, uh, fishing potions again? Thought what you were going to give me, sir? Hmm, 
All right, well, what do we got here? Ooh, high-end bait, heart reach potions. Very, very nice. Okay. And then out of here, we've got some shine potions and tin ore. Uh-huh. All right, I mean, I'm kind of down with it all. Got some decent stuff here. Got some good bait. Yeah, I like it. Hey, guys, you want to know another fun way you can store your money without it going ahead and getting stolen? Uh, j just make little piles like that. <laughs> yeah, why not? We're going to show our riches around here. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, I love it. We've got so much money, guys. It's actually kind of bonkers. <laughs> All right, guys, you want a quick tip? When you go ahead and try to look for Sky Islands, make sure you're running at maximum speed on the surface, okay? Because then you will move at an increased speed in the air, okay? So by doing that, you have a lower chance of getting hit by harpies in the sky, okay? Because you're able to move a lot faster. So, yeah. And also, it makes the effectiveness of your grab potion last just a bit longer in terms of distance, which is great. All right. Come on, baby. Give us another island. Hey, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our first out. Our first proper one of the series. Coolio. All right. Well, let's go see what we've got, huh? A Star Fury. Okay. I mean, it's nice. And it is needed for the eventual Zenith, I do believe. But right now, it's not really that useful. I will take the silver, however. All five bits of it. Whoa! Last of the big spenders, huh? <laughs> Whoa, okay. Well, this Sky Island is, like, super high up. Look at that one. That's, like, really low. And then that was even lower. Whoa. All right, what have we got? Yet another Star Fury. Come on, man. I'm looking for a balloon and or a horseshoe. That would be beautiful. Uh, am I going to do this? All right. <laughs> If I can get a running start, then ah, this might not be too bad. Oh, never mind. How on earth have I not spotted a sky island in almost the entire right-hand side of the world? Come on, I've got like 20 seconds left of this darn thing. Then I've got no choice but to TP back to base. Come on. Give me one final one, baby. You know you want to do it. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, and that's game. And, oh, that's the ocean as well. <laughs> All right, well, wow, a three-minute potion almost perfectly gets me to the far right-hand side of the world. Where the devil are all the sky islands then? Am I, like, can they spawn in these areas, like the, the black areas? Am I being stupid? Or are they all on the left-hand side of the world? This is a large world, guys. There should be many, many more Skylands than we've found so far, man. There should be loads more, dudes. Huh. All right, well, I mean, you know, what are you going to do, huh? What you going to do? That's right. Probably nothing, because I haven't got much I can do. So I'll tell you what, let's go put these things away, uh, because we've just got too much crummy stuff on us again. And maybe we explore the left-hand side of the world? What do you guys think? I think that might be a good idea. All right, let's do it. I tell you what, I'm also going to bring shine potions with me. Then we can actually see what we're doing. I tell you what, we'll bring one of those as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds good. Sounds good to me. Alrighty, guys. Starting to explore the unexplored. Gotta love it. Okay, so there's another proper cave entrance right there. That's obviously very, very nice. Uh, hey there, Mr. Zombles. How y'all doing today, huh? How y'all doing today? Let's go and light these trees up, just like we've been doing for pretty much the entire world. I just like doing it. Like, what else can I say? I like doing it, so I'm gonna keep doing it. There we go. All right, and now we've got a whopping great lake. Ugh. I hate the decreased movement speed. Obviously, it makes sense, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, well, so far, not really too much interesting going on. Maybe we'll come across something cool. Maybe we won't. Get it? Cool? Ha! Uh, oh, my God. Hey, I was wondering when we'd come across one of these biomes. Judging by the fact there was a little cactus ball thing back there. Yeah, here we go. I think we got ourselves an oasis. Nice. I've got to be honest, I think this might just be my favorite new biome in the game. Like, I love it. I think it's a fantastic idea. You know, just something to break up the monotony 
that is the uh, the desert biome. There's a bunch of copper right there, but I don't really care much for it right now. Uh, where? Oh, where will this lead to? Hmm? I have a sneaking suspicion there may be an enchanted sword shrine around here. I've been exploring for a fair while now, guys. It's possible. It is possible. Hey there, cobwebs. Get out of here, cobwebs. Right, come on, baby. You know you want to show me another one, don't you? You know you want to show me another one. Oh, dudes, look at this. We've got both kinds of new trees here. That looks so nice. Oh, man. Well, if I ever manage to figure out how to get the saplings for these trees, then you bet your sweet butt we're going to make ourselves like a nice custom forest. Oh, man, that'd be so cool. That would be so freaking cool. <laughs> All right, well, let's keep ourselves going. Ooh, I think there's a lead deposit down here, guys. Judging by the fact there's only a couple ores at the surface. Normally leads down, doesn't it? Well, this is interesting. There's like an unusually high amount of stone around here. What's this about? Is this supposed to be like a new microbiome? I mean, there are some worms. Ow, son of a gun. Uh, yeah. Seriously, what is this? This does not look like a regular biome. Is this a new sub-biome? Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Whatever the case may be, it's got to be good for getting worms. Because there's a little bunch of rock formations down there. And, you know, those are a good idea. Hey there, corrupt goldfish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. You do a lot of damage, huh? Get out of here, you son of a gun. Hey. Go on. The rest of you can all get out of here as well. Go on. Ancient shadow armor, please. Ah. Oh. Son of a gun. Well, it certainly seems to be a pretty big corruption we've got going on here. I mean, to, to be honest with you guys, it might not actually be a bad idea for us to go ahead and just break these rock formations. Pick up a bunch of worms, you know? Probably not the worst thing in the entire world to do. Yeah! Get out of it. You know, I'm kind of surprised I haven't got any ancient shadow armor yet. Huh. All right. Well, whatever the case, we're still doing pretty good, guys. We haven't died. We're looking good. We're getting some loot here and there. It's a good time. I'm having fun. That's all that counts. Blow me, O'Reilly. We're about to get 100 plus ores from one vein. Good lord. All right. Well, that's quite a hefty amount more lead added to our collection. <laughs> all right. Go on. Yeah. The malaise will destroy you. Go on. Get out of it. Go on. Get. Get. Every single one of you. Get out of it. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Freaking taking on four at a time. What a mad lad. I know, right? I'm a mad lad. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. And you're all dead. Okay, fantastic. What about you? You're going to give me some ancient shadow armor? No, you're not. Son of a gun. It's always when I'm actually looking to try and get something in Terraria, it doesn't give it to me. Like, you guys ever find that? I mean, it's just Terraria's definitely got something against people who are actually trying to look for something, right? It's got to be a thing. Oh, yeah. Whoa. 200 throwing knives. Well, that's pretty insane. I don't feel like you used to come across that kind of quantity of knives before. Huh. All right. Well, I mean, I ain't going to complain about it. I think that's pretty cool. Hey, buddy. Come on. Ancient shadow armor. Ugh. Hey. Another oasis, guys. Okay. That's good to know. We've got two oasises. Oasi? Oasises? Two oasis? What the hell is the plural of oasis? I don't even know. And the award for the smallest regular desert biome ever goes to this biome. Look at how small this is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's kind of nuts, isn't it? Hey there, Mr. Skeletron dude. I don't want to get on the wrong side of you right now. I've got to be careful, huh? All right. Hey, buddy. You want to try it on, do you? All right. I'll try it on. I'll try it on. Get out of here, son of a gun. Right. Give me that. I want that. Give, give, give me. I want the water candle. Oh, right. I haven't got any space for it. Damn it. All right, guys. Don't forget, we can go down to, I think, where it says level surface on the depth meter. So, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Ooh. We're coming across it. Wait. Is that the sound of another freaking corruption? Dude, I've had enough of corruptions on this one. There's so many of them. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, yeah, nothing to speak of. I think they made a change. Well, according to you guys, anyway. I think they made a change so that you can't get water bolts at the surface of a dungeon. I mean, do let me know if that is still the case. Because if it is, then maybe I'm just being unlucky. 
but I don't know. I don't know. It might be a thing. It might not be a thing. I've got no idea. I'm still new to 1.4, so yeah. And here we are, ladies and gents, the left-hand side ocean. All right, well, I think what I'm going to do real quick is just empty out my inventory of all duplicate stuff slash stuff I just don't want. Ropes don't need them. Cobwebs don't really need them. Uh, her bags? Ooh, that actually filled up my inventory a bit. Get rid of the regular healing potions. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, actually, if I do this at a running start, I'll be able to explore the ocean a bit quicker. All right, here we go. Come on, baby. Let's have some cool stuff, huh? Is there going to be some ocean content down here? Hmm? Anything for anything? Nothing so far. Ah, uh, it's just this. Eh, uh, all right. I mean, ooh, shark bait. <laughs> we got a pet, guys. <laughs> yeah, you got to love it. <laughs> oh, beautiful. All right, well, there we go, my friends. We've got some more moolah to put on our little pile here. <laughs> gotta love it. Absolutely gotta love it. All right, well, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, clear our inventory, and I think that will just about do it for today's episode, huh? All right, guys, well, there we go for today's episode. That is a whole bunch of exploration done and dusted. We have now explored all of the surface in our entire world now. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on in our world, huh, guys? I mean, ah, oh, just look at it. Just look at it. You, we really need to try and find some more Skylands, though, because I really want the horseshoe and the balloon. I mean, failing that, I could probably try and fish some Sky Crates up, because that's a good way to get stuff that you haven't got on your world yet. So, yeah, that's cool. Anyways, guys, to end off today's episode, we've got the comment of the day. Adam Zeitlin or Zeitlin says, Hi, Python. I saw that when you were fishing, you were catching old shoes and tin cans. And I wanted to let you know that if you are catching old shoes and tin cans, that means your fishing area is not adequate and needs to be bigger. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much for that. I do appreciate it. I mean, I kind of figured that that would be the case, that we don't have a big enough fishing area but it's more the technicalities behind it you know i don't really know how big the size should be for it to not give us old shoes and whatnot and also the other thing to bear in mind is i don't have like an endless bucket at the moment an endless bucket of water i mean as soon as we get one of those then yeah we could go ahead and expand this a whole bunch but at the moment i mean there's no other yeah there's no other water sources i mean not unless there's one up here or maybe in here, that we can just, like, drop down into this area, right? So, for now, I guess I'm going to have to maybe do it the old-fashioned way and just get a whole bunch of buckets. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much buckets will hold, like, in terms of, I don't know, how many trips we need to make. I don't know. But maybe we'll figure that out at some point soon. But for now, my friends, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's exploration episode of Epicness, then please do be sure, of course, to drop a like rating, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future content. And I tell you what, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Underground and caverns, do you know what? You know what? I'm going against it. I'm doing a fishing quest, okay? When I know that there's a fishing quest to do, I want to get it done, okay? So, yeah. I know I've done the outro, but I'm going to go do this fishing quest. Oh, cool. I didn't know you could do this. You can fish while inside of a minecart. <laughs> this is awesome. I like this a lot. Oh, man. Yeah, there we go. That actually didn't take that long. Oh. What? Did you guys see that? I was in my minecart when I teleported back for a split second there. Did you see that? Oh, man, that was kind of crazy. All right, what do we got? Extractinator! Hmm, saves us having to find one. Okay, okay, don't mind it at all. All right, quickly, 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 what you got for me? Hey, nice. I like it. Displays fishing information. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. All right, guys, well, like I say, that's got to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I say, if you have enjoyed today's episode, a like rating will go a long, long way. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, that'll wrap it up. Thank you guys very much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode.